<sighs> Hello? Uh, hi! Um, yeah, I have a book buying problem that kind of needs attending to. Wait, I'm too far gone? Are you sure? I can change. Maybe. Hello? <sighs> well, Hi everyone, my name is Holly, and in today's video I'm going to be doing my July book haul. So I kind of have a lot of books here to show you. So let's not waste any more time and just get to them. Because by all means, we all hate a long introduction when it comes to book hauls. So let's go ahead and start off with the sci-fi books I got this month, because I actually got quite a few. Even though I'm not really a sci-fi reader, but I want to be. But I have some sci-fi here that have a lot of potential, and I think you guys are really going to like them. So the very first book I have here here is Time Salvager by Wesley Chu. So this is a science fiction time travel story as the title kind of hints at and it takes us to a future where Earth is basically a big toxic wasteland. Did Bethesda write this? And those who could afford to get off the planet have long since taken their lives to the outer solar system. But this dispersion has also created a bigger need for resources to support the population. Resources that Earth can basically no longer provide. If the present can't provide the resources that society needs, then they shall plunder the past. Which obviously can be a bit dicey and can also bring upon a lot of negative effects. I feel like time travel stories are really hard to pull off, but this one is just brimming with so much potential that I can't wait to go into it. Will it be worth my time? We shall see. The next science fiction book I have for you is Adrift by Rob Beauford, and this was sent to me by Orbit, so thank you so, so much. So Adrift takes place in a futuristic world where space travel is common. It's a total normal occurrence. It's about a group of tourists who get stranded on a small spaceship after they were visiting a space station that then gets attacked. And the tourists actually see this happen by an unknown ship. It kind of sounds like it has this claustrophobic narrative where the story just sets in this small spaceship and we're kind of living through some of the tourist lives as they experience this phenomenon. I know it follows multiple points of views and I think it sounds super intense and mysterious and exciting and I'm so happy to have this and I really want to get to it soon. I believe it's a standalone so I'm ready for the ride. By the way if any of you are wondering where my necklace is from it's from Shiki Creates and I will leave her website and stuff down below in the description box and my coupon code as well she makes gorgeous jewelry so let's go ahead and move on to an adult fantasy book that is one of my most highly anticipated books of the year and that is the gray bastards by Jonathan French literally the day that this book came out there was a listing on Amazon for it for like seven dollars like new and I couldn't pass it up I was like there's no way but I took my chances and look at it it is like a freaking diamond in the rough. So this is the story of Jackal and his friends, and they are half orcs living in the lot lands, which is basically a plot of land that is in between the humans and the full-blooded orcs. So you know, that kind of makes sense that they're half orcs, they live in between them. And now this group of friends kind of reminds me of like a biker gang, but instead of riding motorcycles, they ride hogs. Like, you basically proposed to me, because I'm, yes, I, please. <laughs> but this group of half orcs job is to basically keep the orcs away from the humans. And they are led by a tyrannical man named the Clay Master. And this is where Jackal gets his ambition to overthrow him and to basically take leadership for himself, which is where the shenanigans begins. And said shenanigans includes cursing, dick jokes, and violence against centaurs and elves and whatnot and i think this sounds like my twin of a book who doesn't want to read a book about orcs writing hogs the size of horses i'm in it i love it sounds like a lot of fun hey let's switch it up again and kind of go into a different direction the next book i have here is a ya novel and that is a garrison girl by Rachel Aaron and yes you do see Titans on the cover so this was sent to me by Quirk Books I believe and 
This is a YA novel set in the Attack on Titan universe. This is an original novel with a whole new set of characters and when I got the email to review this, Yo girl ain't gonna pass that up. So the story actually connects to the events in that universe and it follows our main character Rosalie who comes from a very noble family and against her family's wishes she wants to go to the outer wall to fight the titans. She eventually convinces her father to let her serve the wall rose garrison and there she befriends her squad members but then she finds out that her squad leader Jax um, he's very notorious for his squad members dying under his service. And this kind of leads into the rest of the novel. And apparently you don't have to know anything about the Attack on Titan universe to enjoy this, which I think is really cool. So if you haven't watched the anime or you haven't read the manga, then you can enjoy this still. So be sure to pick this one up. I am actually going to be reading this in August. So that's exciting. Alrighty, so you guys know how trash I am for Joe Abercrombie. Well, get your butts ready because the next few books, only Joe Abercrombie. So I am currently in the middle of reading the first Law Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie and I am loving it so, so much. And I decided to buy the 10th anniversary editions. So the first one I have here is the Blade itself and I got these off of Book Depository. I also pre-ordered the third one because it's not out yet. But look at this edition. It is so, so pretty. Show you guys a little close up and also the back. And of course I had to get the second one which is before they are hanged. And this one just has like a shield design on the front. And then on the back is probably a quote, probably spoilery. Actually, don't read it. There you go. But yeah, I absolutely had to get these for my collection. And I'm really hoping that the third one is going to be a darker gray because light gray, medium gray, as you can tell, they're different colors. I'm hoping that third book is dark as well, so it's kind of like an ombre effect. I think that'll be really pretty. So the next driver copy book that I have is The Heroes, which is technically book... Z1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the first Law Trilogy, and I also have Red Country, which is technically book 6 in the first Law Trilogy universe. Yeah, I can now completely binge read this whole world and enjoy every second of it, because, you know, I'm Joe Abercrombie Trash. You can find me in your nearest alleyway. And the last Joe Abercrombie book that I have for you is Sharp Points which is a collection of short stories that's set in the First Law universe. You know, Joe Comic books are pretty long and they all match. They're all very tall books. And then I guess in this, which is very short and very small, which really hurts my bookworm soul, especially when I slide them beside these big boys and then this happens, like, Look at that. That is so, so sad that they're not the same size. Why would you do that, Orbit? So the next book I have here is Battle Mage by Stephen Aryan. So my main reason for picking this one up is because I was actually sent Mageborn by Stephen Aryan, which is his new series that takes place 10 years after this series. So I felt very obligated to pick this one up first because I just want to stay within the timeline. So this series actually kind of has your classic fantasy story and it follows a group of mages who are called to protect the nation as it gets attacked by a group of other nations. There's a ton of praise that surrounds this series and yeah, I really like this cover. It's kind of like, whoa. The next book I have here is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. Oh, booktube. The books that you make me buy. This book seriously seems to be like everyone's favorite middle grade. I had enough, so I went to Amazon and bought it. I love middle grade fantasy, I always have, and it's such a nice genre to go to after you read a bunch of epic adult fantasy. And this just sounds magical as fork. So this is a whimsical adventure following our main character who is an 11 year old girl named Morgan who is a very unfortunate child and is cursed. Which means that she is supposed to die on the strike of midnight when she turns 12. Luckily a man named Jupiter kind of whisks her away like freaking Willy Wonka 
and she's forced to do all kinds of trials and let's be honest probably a ton of fun that I will be jealous of there's a magical cat on the cover in like a mystical hotel sounds like a place I want to live in to be honest and the next book I have here is we ride the storm by Devin Madsen and this was actually sent to me by Devin so thank you so much I gotta say I am so incredibly excited about this one and when Devin told me that she would be able to send me a copy of her book I basically win and bought a lottery ticket so the story is about three people from three very different walks of life trying to survive as the world around them kind of corrupts into chaos and these stories kind of unfold on an individual level rather than the intertwining narrative like normal epic fantasy does which I think is going to be a really refreshing perspective this world is brutal and I've heard that some really messed up stuff happens and it's supposed to be really depressing and I'm excited and those words should never be said together but that's what epic fantasy does to you it makes you excited for morbid things the next book I have here is the sisters of the winter wood by Rena Rosner and this was sent to me by orbit so thank you again first off this cover like look look at that it is so shiny and gold and foily and just like makes my book dreams come true so this is a dark literary fairy tale that follows two Jewish sisters who discover a very well-kept secret that shakes them to their core when Libba and Leia are left to fend for themselves in their very small village they face monstrous creatures with like beautiful faces forcing each of them to grow up more than they expected now ask me what the heck that means I have no idea it's just what I read I think it's better to go into this book knowing pretty much nothing I think you're going to enjoy it way more um, than trying to figure out what the heck I just told you I think this is going to be a really interesting read and I'm always up for learning more about the Jewish culture and this cover you don't need to know anything about it once you see this in stores and like could you imagine the finished copy that's gonna be beautiful because this arc is already gorgeous oh yeah this comes out in September yep September 25th to be exact so keep a lookout for it I got two more books left so this next one is give the dark my love by Beth Revis and this was sent to me by Razor Bell so thank you so much and this one comes out in September so the story follows a girl named Nedra and there is a plague that has risen which is known as the wasting death and it is taking over her island so Nedra is very determined to find the cure she then gets accepted into this very prestigious Academy to learn about medicinal alchemy but unfortunately this plague is spreading faster and killing more people and Nedra ends up turning to the forbidden dark arts of necromancy which seems a little bit counterintuitive since necromancy is all about bringing the dead back to life and there's already undead we'll see I honestly can't wait for this one um, it basically has zombies in it and I absolutely love zombies so this has me super excited and the final book I have to show you is Bloody Rose by Nicholas E. Amis and this is the second book in the band trilogy which was sent to me by Orbit so uh, thank you so much I am so incredibly happy to have this in my hands because I plan on picking up Kings of the Wild really soon and now I can marathon both of them and it's just going to be the greatest time this sequel comes out August 28th and it's an epic fantasy and the first one kind of follows a band of manly mercenaries and this one looks like it follows a group of women mercenaries and the tagline says girls just want to have fun which like I'm excited <laughs> the artwork on this and I have the first one beside me right here Kings of the Wild Bloody Rose and also these spines are so cool I'm really excited to see what the third book is going to look like because these just make your shelves look so pretty all right so those were all the books I acquired in July quite a lot I really need to be put on a book buying ban because I 
do not have any more room. Like, it's just chaos all up in here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up for me if you did. Follow me on social media. My links are right here and also down below in the description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every single week. And until we meet again, happy reading.